there is a reason why I cannot be friends anymore with women who center romantic partnerships and finding the one. Um, I've had several experiences with this and I have been that person and I was also very annoying. So I'm going to tell you why that is. I vet people who could possibly be potential friends of mine. Um, and I was getting to know this woman a few years ago and her whole entire life was about finding a man, finding the one. It was everything to her. I had this dream of becoming like a lifestyle influencer, which I thought was really cool. And I would say, hey, did you shoot a video today and post it? Because if you're my friend, one thing about me, I'm going to inspire you to live your dreams. So she would always say, no, not today. I've just been, really been depressed and I've just been in the bed all day. And don't get me wrong. I struggle with depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety, all things that I have been diagnosed with by licensed mental health care professionals. So I totally understand that. But I began to notice a pattern. Anytime that she would go on a dating app and a guy would ask her out on a date, all of a sudden that depression and that low energy disappeared. And she all of a sudden had all the energy in the world. And then she would go out with these idiot men and they would say something inappropriate or they would ghost her or some something would go down. And then she was depressed again. And I would say, you know what? Maybe just take a break from this. There's nothing wrong with wanting a relationship and wanting to be married, but this just, it seems to be making you sad and it seems to just be really frustrating and you just keep re-traumatizing yourself and it's a really bad cycle. So maybe just take a break from dating apps. You don't even have to quit them and just focus on getting your dream off the ground. It's a really cool dream. And she would say, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to take time to just focus on myself. I really need to focus on myself. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll hold you accountable to make one video a week at least where you're getting ready for the day because fashion and style was her thing. And you can hold me accountable to consistently make content too. Cool? Cool. Not cool. So as time goes on, I'm doing my thing, y'all. I'm making content. I'm meeting a lot of y'all. I'm building connections. I'm getting opportunities. And I'd be like, hey girl, did you make a video today? And she'd be like, no, not today. I just don't have the energy for it. I'm depressed. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I totally get it. I struggle too. And one day she finally said the thing that I had suspected all along. And she goes, well, maybe if I go on the dating app and I get a guy to ask me out on a date, then I'll have a reason to get ready for something and I can shoot a video then. And I'm like, I mean, if that's, if that's how you want to go about it, I guess. She was having a really hard time financially, which is totally fine. I was rebuilding my finances after the pandemic as well. But my mindset was, okay, I need to get a second job. I need to figure out how to get, you know, some more opportunities going. I need to do some more networking. Her mindset was I need to find somebody rich and go out with them so that they can pay my bills. Which, hey, if that's your lifestyle, that is totally fine. But women that I've known over the years who have had this lifestyle are always broke and their next meal is contingent upon their next date. And they're always in these tough situations where they don't know if their bill's gonna get paid. But you know, like I said, there are some women who they're consistent with it and they're living a good life. It's just the women that I've known who have done this, it just really wasn't working for them at the end of the day. A week, it was a new man and a new problem. 
this guy said this to me when we went on on a date. Okay, we'll block him. He is a horrible person. The next week, this guy ghosted me and then he texted me at 1 a.m. What are you doing? Block him. He, he just wants to sleep with you. And it was the same cycle over and over and over again. The only time she had anything to talk about was if it was about a man and they were not even good men at that. I fully totally understand venting and needing support, but the strong friends get tired too. And sometimes we're just too nice to say anything or to set that much needed boundary with you and just say, hey, you know what? Let's talk about something else already. Let's say, girl, you and I both know how these men are. That's just, it's why I just focus on doing what I gotta do and, you know, making my dreams happen. By the way, I shot some videos today that I'm gonna post. How many videos did you shoot? And like usual, she would always say, well, I'm just depressed, I don't have any energy. And how many of you at this point know why she was depressed and didn't have any energy? And then she says, well, I probably should just get a date this weekend and then I'll just film a video. And I just say, you know what? Why don't you just film a video for yourself and, and get ready and go to Target? I've, I've done that. That's interesting, you know, just so you can get in the habit of making your get ready for me video, get ready with me videos. Why do you have to have a date in order to do that? And at least she was honest and at least she just finally said, you know what? I just figured if I, you know, get a guy, I'll have the energy and I'll have a reason to get ready and shoot a video. And I said, well, you're the reason to get ready. The fact that this is your dream, just get ready for yourself so that you can make some content because you, you said you wanted to be a content creator, right? And then she goes, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. I really do need to start focusing on myself. And I'm like, what? That's, that's great. Oh my gosh, how cool. Things seem to be on the up and up. Time goes by. We talk about anything except for men. She's independent. She's strong. She's happy. She's not worried about going out on dates. We're talking about life. We're talking about our kids. We're talking about current events on TikTok and issues within our community. All the things. She is on a roll. She is sick of men which you don't have to be sick of men to stop dating. I totally understand that, but we are just free and happy. And then I notice something. You notice how sometimes you might be following a particular creator and then they just seem to fall off the face of the earth. So you have to purposely go to their page to see their content. You're like, oh, there they are. So um, we're doing all this talking and I'm just like, huh, I haven't even been seeing her content or anything so I could support her because every time we would post something, we would engage and support each other. So I go to her page and what do I see, guys? What do I see? Posted content. How awesome is that? So I click on the video and it's a get ready with me video. Oh my gosh, she's finally doing the thing. Let me watch this video. She was getting ready for a date. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with dating. I have plenty of followers who are married and who are still out in the dating field. My issue was for all those days, for all that amount of time, she was lying and she was still dating. Just like why lie about it? And I totally understand. You might say, well, maybe she just didn't want to disappoint you. We're grown. I have friends who are dating. I have friends who are married, but they're not going about it in a way that's desperate. They have boundaries. We're not on the phone talking about what this guy did this week and what this guy did last week. It's just normal. There's balance mentally and emotionally there, but I knew that friendship was over because if you could get to the point where you could lie about it and create this whole entire persona with me and then behind the scenes be doing something different, 
you would lie about any and everything else and I can no longer trust you. So it wasn't that serious. We didn't have a discussion about it or anything. I just went ahead and let that potential friendship just eventually disintegrate. And that's when I learned the valuable lesson of one of the things that I look at when I vet my friends uh, going forward. You are single and you were out in the dating scene, that is totally fine. I have no issue with it. Plenty of you guys who watch my content are still dating on dating apps. Some of you are married and that is okay. That is not my problem. If dating is your entire life, if you can't get out of bed without knowing that you have a date lined up, if you are putting your dreams and your life on the back burner because you don't have the energy because the guy you were interested in ghosted you or didn't return your text. Every single week, we are just talking about what this guy did to you and what that guy did to you. And it's just like, oh my gosh, get some boundaries already. So I don't wanna hear about it anymore. Let's talk about anything besides this. We will not make good friends. It's just, it's a boundary that I have that a man cannot be the center of your entire universe. And even my married friends, my married friends who are happily married, even my mutuals on here, they make their own content. They live their own lives. Everything is not about I'm married and I have a husband. I decided that if that's your thing where everything in your world is about a man and getting a man and keeping a man, we're just not going to be a good fit. There's so much more to life than dating and worrying about your relationship status and swiping left and swiping right. There's so much more to life than that. And I prefer to hang around women, to hang around people who understand that and fill their lives with the million other things that have nothing to do with catching a man or keeping a man. Good morning. Cheers.